let's run a typical scenario. We have here a loan that is heavy on the bottom and light on the top. Let's see how we can build the right recipe for this loan. For the sake of time, we already created the right recipe for it. So we have different layers inside of our cube technology. At layer one, we decided a stronger containment force, uh, higher load force to load, and no roping at a reinforcement band for two, for two reps at a high speed. Over at layer two, we can see that we went a little higher where the toilet paper starts. And that's where we brought down the containment force, otherwise it would squeeze the toilet paper. And then at going all the way up to level five, our photocell will be able to detect where the load is and then start wrapping two reinforcement bands and then start going down all the way to level nine where we keep our speed of the robot going fast and strong all the way to the pallet. see the robot wrapping the first layer. As you can see, it's very tight, low free stretch, so that it can avoid any puncturing in the film. Once it completes the two reinforcement bands over at the bottom, it starts to roll and it kicks into layer two. Once it reaches 10 inches from the ground, we decided to lower the containment force so that it doesn't squeeze the paper. You can visibly see how the film is. You can visibly see how the film is pre-stretched more, but still a little flimsy. And once it reaches the top of the paper, that's when it stops. It will, it will do two reinforcement bands, and then it will bring, bring the film down all the way to the belt. Now the film is on the way down and keeping the same type of recipe that we chose so far and the pre-stretch and the film tension is keeping the containment force strong throughout the load and when it reaches the pallet we have our last layer where it auto cuts the film and it stops the machine.